So for the project for this course, I thought it would be fun to put together an infographic about renewable energy. It's a pretty hot topic these days, and I also thought it would be easy to find information about renewable energy all over the internet. So together, we're going to create this really cool infographic here that has many different data charts and interesting facts about renewable energy. There are even some layers here inside of Acrobat that let you interact with that data so you could actually turn on and actually view different elements here of these graphs. Now, we're going to build this together, but of course, I want to take you way back to the beginning where I first started with this. Can I give you a little bit of insight into my thought process behind this? and the steps that I took to get to this stage. So I'm actually gonna start off here going to Microsoft Word. What I first did was I started asking myself some questions. Just opened up a Word document and started typing out questions, anything that popped into my mind. Things like, which countries are using renewable energy? How does renewable energy compare to other sources of energy? I wanted to know, are there certain types of renewable energy that are more popular than others? Now it's true that the list of my questions was actually a lot longer than this. But as I was asking more and more of these questions, again, not really worried about what the answers are yet. It was just giving me a better idea of some kind of focus. After all, renewable energy is just a massive field. I mean, there are so many different angles and approaches that you can take to this. And I kind of needed to ground myself in first understanding what direction do I want to go in? What specific story about renewable energy do I want to tell through my infographic? Now you notice here at the bottom also, I asked two other questions. What are some interesting facts about wind energy? And what are some interesting facts about solar energy? Now, I did not have those questions in my list when I first started. That's because I didn't even know that wind and solar were different types of renewable energy. But as I started doing my research and getting some answers, those answers then spurred additional questions. For example, I started finding out that, hey, wind and solar are the fastest growing types of renewable energy. So I wanted to find out more about those specific technologies. So I started going back to my question list and adding some more questions about that. You know you're doing well when you start asking yourself more questions after you've already gotten some answers. So once I've had my list of questions here, I started going out and getting some answers. Well, how did I do that? Well, I'll switch over here to my web browser and I started out with Google. Just typed in stuff like, for example, renewable energy statistics or something. And you get some information here and you can start to kind of dig through these different articles. There's an organization called the IEA, which has information about renewable energy. And I've also found that many of the world's largest energy companies also publish lots of information. For example, I have some information here from BP. And I've also found out that many governments also publish information about renewable energy. For example, I discovered that there's an organization called the NREL, or the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which publishes a tremendous amount of data about renewable energy. They have many reports, and many additional resources available online where I could find more information about renewable energy and about specific types of renewable energy. I found a lot of great information at energy.gov. I was able to download some reports and again, find lots of useful data about the infographic that I was trying to create. And like I said before, I was also able to go to some of the larger energy companies of the world, like ExxonMobil, for example. And in their energy and technology section, they actually have an outlook for energy and predictions about what's going to happen with energy moving forward. These are all reports that you can download for free, and you could use these reports and this additional information to start getting answers to the questions that you've already started asking. So let's go back to Microsoft Word for a second here. And I have another document here called Answers. This is where I started taking information that I've learned and bringing them into this document. So for example, which countries are using renewable energy? Well, I found this chart in one of the different reports that I was able to download, and I simply took a screenshot of it and just dumped it into Microsoft Word. And again, that's all I'm really trying to do. I'm trying to bring as much information that I find and just bring it into context by saying, hey, that answers the question that I had already asked. How does renewable energy compare to other energy sources? I found this great chart in one of the reports that just spoke about the breakdown. In fact, when I looked at this, I'm like, wow, that's a really interesting data point. Like just being able to know how much of the energy that a certain country produces is actually produced via renewable energy sources. What I found really interesting about this specific chart is that it showed me a breakdown of all the other different types of energy comparing it to renewables, but then it took a step further and it broke down how all the renewable types of energy make up that one number. And as you scroll through the rest of this document, you'll see that I just started adding additional information. And it wasn't always graphs and charts that I was kind of putting into here. Sometimes it was just interesting paragraphs or sentences that appealed to me. For example, 
when I saw this information here about what the most popular kinds of renewable energy are, I realized that solar and wind are far more popular than the others, and they're growing the most. So I tried to dig a little bit deeper and to find out more about these specific types of energy. If I scroll down a little bit further here, when I was doing some more research about solar energy, it was interesting to see how much of an increase there has been inside of solar energy. But then if I scroll down further here, I found some really interesting information. For example, even though solar energy is growing at such a high rate, it still only represents a very, very small part of the electricity that's produced. On top of that, I also found out that solar energy really isn't that efficient. With the current technology in place today, the solar panels only capture a very small amount of energy that comes from the sun. These things all kind of come together and help contribute to the story that I want to tell. I'm already starting to get an idea in my head about what is interesting. You know, how popular or how important is renewable energy and really how much of our power that we create comes from renewable energy. And hey, there are two types of energy that seem to be more popular than others, solar and wind. So let me focus on telling those stories as well. So at this point, I've asked myself questions. I've done some research. That research has then triggered more questions. I then answered those as well. And now I really have a solid idea in my head about at least where I want to go, a direction that I want to go in this case. So then I started sketching this out. I'll switch back to Acrobat here for a second and I'll change to a different document called Sketches. And this is kind of where my mind was going when I was putting this together. I knew that I wanted to have some information, some large information basically about just the percentage of renewable energy that's being produced inside of the country, in this case, the United States. And I wanted to focus on solar and on wind. I thought it was really interesting to provide some details about what percentage of renewable energy is produced amongst all other sources of energy, and then specifically what types of renewable energy within that are the most popular or at least contribute most to the energy generation in the country. So you can see that I kind of envisioned some kind of a bar over here where we would highlight the renewable energy part and then go into detail about that. And again, focus on solar and on wind. I was trying to find different ways to visualize that. Maybe I should have the bar kind of run across the top. You know, at one point I was thinking about, hey, this represents 100% of energy. Maybe I should use a pie chart, but I thought it'd be a lot easier to create a bar chart in this way. I also started getting ideas about how I might want to present solar and wind energy. And again, this progressed to even another way where I might be able to lead a reader's eye for information about renewable energy, what percentage it is across other sources of energy, and again, more detail about renewable energy itself. And then I could focus on interesting facts, like, for example, how much does it cost to install solar energy panels in a home? And how does it compare in a chart, for example, to wind energy? My final sketch kind of resulted into something like this, where I was going to focus on basically all the different types of energy, how renewable energy contributes to all the different energy that's produced, how other countries are producing energy as well, and again, more detailed information about how solar energy works and how wind energy works as well. And that's what led us to this final infographic, one that we're going to build together in the following movies.